Needless to say, spring training in 2021 no doubt looks different than we're all used to seeing. But if the Rays have anything to say about it, nothing will be getting in the way of the reigning AL champs and their goal of winning the World Series. We know what we need to do. We, we're, we're ready to go. We're ready to work. We're ready to do what we have to do to, to win as a team as much as possible. And despite making a World Series run last season, winning isn't an automatic by any means in a tough AL East division. There are no easy games. There are no series where you just look past. If you do, they're going to sneak up on you real quick. I think it's best for us to work on what we can do here to get ourselves ready for opening day uh, and then go play. This year's squad has a bit of a different look including a new group of veteran pitchers who were brought in after losing Blake Snell and Charlie Morton. We have a lot of youth. They're impressionable. Um, these players that, that come in on one-year deals, you never know what's after it. But they do. They each have a la an opportunity to leave lasting impressions on the, the talent that's here. The Rays have a familiar face in veteran Chris Archer, who has already made a great impact on the organization during his previous stint in Tampa Bay. And the team is looking forward to him picking up right where he left off. When he told me that he was coming back, I was just like a little kid, like, oh, man, like I was so excited for him and for us, you know, us a group, because I know like there, there's some young guys that look up to him because, you know, when, when he was here, he was like the ace. Of course, there are also a lot of returning players from last year's pennant winning team, but probably the biggest curiosity from that group is playoff sensation Randy Rosarena because nobody knows what he's capable of this year. We all know you're here to see Randy. He's right here. I'm just going to enjoy the ride with him because, hey, with him, you, can, hey, you can't expect anything because he, he might just go crazier than last year. So I, I don't want to say something lower than they, he go too far. While everyone is excited about the possibility of a Rose Arena's performance from last season carrying over to 2021, one carryover that no one's excited about are the COVID protocols. But having the experience of dealing with them in 2020 only makes the team feel more prepared as they head into the new season. Even though you still might not like it at times, but, uh, you know, it's a lot easier knowing what you're getting yourself into rather than have everything thrown at you the way it was in summer camp last year moving forward. That's how you uh, you create that uh, chemistry with all the guys in the spring training. This is the base. So it's hard for us to have guys guys in the other side and then not be able to hang out with them. But it's like I said, like I said last year, we, we got to we got to we have to adjust to the situation and, you know, just deal with it. The Rays will be kicking off their spring training in just a couple of days on Sunday, right here in Port Charlotte as they take on the Atlanta Braves. Rachel West, Tampa Bay Times.